सो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टुडे विल डिस्कस एमसी क्वेश्चन ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर एसी अल्टरनेटिव करंट 12th क्लास ओके सो विल स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिस्कस द लैंग्वेज ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इन द इंडक्टिव सर्किट ओके दिस इज द इंडक्टिव सर्किट वी आर गिवन अ सर्किट ओके इन द फिगर द करंट राइजेस आफ्टर द स्विच इज क्लोज्ड ओके व्हेन द स्विच इज क्लोज्ड it flows the current okay then potential difference across the inductor will be mm -hmm. this is resistance this is inductor okay 260 volt battery is there okay and he is asking find potential difference across the inductor l this is inductor l and this resistance r 4000 ohm resistance are given uh, now we are having four option okay which one 60 volt 240 volt 180 volt and zero So let's start uh, with this circuit diagram. This is resistor, 4000 ohm. This is inductor, 12 milli Henry. Henry is the unit of inductance. Are connected with 260 volt battery. Okay. When R and L are connected, in that condition, what is total EMF? That is potential due to resistor, potential due to inductor. Actually, we have to find potential difference across inductor L. We have to find VL. So what should be VL? E square minus V R square. V R equals to root E square minus V R square. This is potential difference across inductor. E total voltage we are given to sixty, so this is the E. Total E M F we are given to sixty volt. So what we have to find now only V R. What is V R? Potential across resistance. So V R will find by Ohm's law. V equals to I R. How much current is there? 25 milli ampere. Okay. So 25 into 10 is power minus 3. Uh, what we need is friends. Uh, when we multiply 10 is power minus 3, milli ampere uh, will come into ampere. Okay. And resistance 4000 ohm. So V R will come as look at uh, 10 is power minus 3 divide. It is 1333 cancel out. 4 into 25 that is 100. So what is what will be the potential across Resistance that is 100 volt and total EMF total potential we are given at 260. Now we can calculate the potential across inductor L. How can by this formula? This is the total EMF. Okay, in the case of R and L, when resistor R and inductor L are connected, in that condition, in that case, this is the total EMF. Okay, so now put in this formula E. That is 260 total voltage. 260 square minus. What is we are potential across resistance? We found as hundred, hundred square. When you solve, you will get two forty volt. Okay. So what will be the potential difference across inductor L at twelve milli Henry? That will be two forty. So which one is the correct option? Option B is the correct. Understood, students. So now, students, uh, question number second. Uh, see the language in LCR series circuit. Okay. LCR means Inductor L, capacitor C, and resistance R are connected. Okay. The capacitor is changes changed from C to four C. Okay. The capacitor changing from C to four C. Okay. For the same resonant frequency. Okay. I will I will tell you the meaning of resonant frequency. The inductance should be changed from L to. We are given four option to L. L by two, L by four, and four L. Look at students. When inductive resistance will equals to capacitive resistance. When inductive resistance will equals to capacitive resistance, such condition is said to be a resonant state of LCR circuit. In that condition, amplitude of frequency, amplitude of current become maximum. Frequency will be maximum, and that maximum frequency is given by the formula one upon two pi root one by LC. Where F R is the resonance frequency, maximum frequency, two pi is number, constant, L is inductance, and C is capacitor. Actually, for same, he is asking for same resonance frequency. In that condition, for same F R, two pi is number. The multiply of L and C, the product of L and C, should remains constant. Okay, so in that condition. F R equals to 
वन अपॉन टू पाई ओके वन अपॉन टू पाई दिस इज एफ एफ डैश एफ डबल डैश फॉर गेटिंग सेम रेजन फ्रीक्वेंसी वॉट शुड बी द चेंज इन इंडक्टर इफ कैपेसिटर चेंजेस फ्रॉम सी टू फोर सी सो लेट दिस टाइम सी बिकम फोर सी फॉर गेटिंग सेम रेजन फ्रीक्वेंसी ओके वॉट वी डू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एल एंड सी शुड रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट इफ सी बिकम फोर सी सी बिकम फोर सी सो इफ विल राइट एल एज एल बाय फोर सो वॉट हैपन इन दैट केस फोर टू फोर विल कैंसिल आउट एंड अगेन इट बिकम वन अपॉन टू पाई रूट वन बाय एल सी सो फॉर गेटिंग सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी वन अपॉइंट टू पाई रूट वन बाय एल सी वन अपॉइंट टू पाई रूट वन बाय एल सी If capacitor changed from C to four C in that condition, what should be inductor? We have to take L by four. Why? So four to four cancel out. Again, we will get L C only. So which one is the correct option? C is the correct option. So now, students, uh, question number third. See the language. We are given a circuit for the L R circuit. We are given inductor L and resistance R. Okay. Shown in the figure, the phase. Angle the phase angle that we define if frequency is f equals to 100 by pi hertz. So what should be the phase angle? We are given four option: 60 degree, uh, 45 degree, 30 degree, and 90 degree for this LR circuit. And resistance we are given as 5 ohm. Uh, inductance we are given as 0.025 Henry, and both are connected with the AC source. Okay, students, what is Phase angle. Okay, the position between V and I, potential and current. Okay, is said to be the that position is said to be phase angle. Actually, phase angle is a physical quantity that shows the difference. Okay, between voltage and current, and it is denoted by generally tan phi, having formula X L minus X C by R in case of L C R series circuit. But we are given only L and R, so what we'll use here we'll use tan phi as X L by R. Okay, if C and R is here, we'll use X C by R. Understood? How can we find X L? X L is called inductive resistance. The total effective re the total resistance of a circuit due to inductor L and capacitor C is said to be resistance. It is of two types: X L and X C. Inductive resistance and capacitive resistance. Xl is omega L and Xc is one by omega C. So now, students, as Xl we can write as omega L by R, and omega is two pi F L by R. So now, students, what should be the phase angle? Two pi as it is. Okay, frequency we are given as hundred by pi in the trial. That is. 0.025 Henry, okay, and R we are given as 5 ohm. So look at students, pi to pi gets out, and when we solve, we'll get as one, okay. So tan phi is one. So when will tan is one? When phi is 45, because tan phi tan 45 is one. So that inverse phi plus 45. So which one is the correct option? Option B is the correct option. Okay, students. Uh, now, students, question number fourth. Average power generated in an inductor connected to an AC source is we are having four option: half L I square, L I square, option C zero, and option D none of these. Uh, this is a tricky question. Actually, energy stored by inductor. First of all, think that. That energy stored by inductor is what half L I square, but that is the energy stored by inductor. But when inductor is connected with AC source, and he is asking what average power. So what we did generally, okay, we have written just the formula of energy stored by inductor half L I square. But that is not the correct option. Half L I square is just energy stored by inductor. He is asking average power generated in an inductor. Okay, so. For power, for average power, we are having formula E R M S into I R M S into cos phi. Okay, E R M S is the root mean square value of E M F, root mean square value of current, 
एंड कॉस फाइव इज कॉल्ड पावर फैक्टर एंड कॉस फाइव इज कॉल्ड पावर फैक्टर ओके हैविंग फॉर्मूला आर बाय जेड आर इज रेजिस्टेंस एंड जेड इज इंपिडेंस वॉट इज इंपिडेंस टोटल इफेक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ अ सर्किट ड्यू टू इंडक्टर एल कैपेसिटी एंड रेजिस्टेंस आर For LCR circuit, the effective resistance is said to be impedance. So, look at students. Average power generated in an inductor. In case of inductor, phase angle of voltage remains ahead from current by a pi by two angle. Actually, this is the phase diagram. Okay, this is the current and this is the voltage. The phase difference between current and voltage in case of L is pi by two. is 90 degree so we'll write here p average equals to erms into irms into cos pi by 2 cos pi by 2 cos 90 is 0 0 zero into something 0 so what should be the average power dissipated average power generated in an inductor should be 0 so which one is the correct option yes option c is the correct option and just keep in mind Half LI score is the energy stored inductor, and in case of power, that will be zero. So C will be the correct option. Uh, question number fifth: If coil is open, okay, then the L and R become L is inductor, R is resistance. We are given a circuit, okay. We are given four option: infinity comma zero, zero comma infinity, both infinity, both zero. We define actually inductor L or resistance R. Actually, look at students. First of all, we are given coil is open. Coil is open means what? There will be no current and switch is off. Okay. When no current will flow in circuit, induced flux will also zero because what is self inductance? Self induction. Whenever we change the amount of current in primary coil, okay. Whenever we change the amount of current in coil, it induces flux and EMF. That phenomenon is said to be self induction. In case of L, when coil is open, there will be no current. Then Flux also zero. Okay, we know phi equals to L I. That is the value of flux in case of inductance. Phi equals to L I. So if flux zero, okay, students. If so, we define if L that will be phi upon I. Flux zero, something by zero. Okay, zero by something. So flux is what zero I. Zero by something zero. So the trial will be zero because uh, when switch is off, there is no current. Flux also zero, and when flux zero, zero by something will be zero. So L will be zero. Okay. So now students L zero. Now we have to find R. Okay. V equals to I R. So if you want to get R, that is when we subjected R, it becomes V upon I. Current also we are given as zero. Coil is open. There will be no current. Okay, so something by zero is infinity. So L is zero. Where is L? Okay, this is the zero for L. And where is R is infinity? So I think option B is the correct. L will be zero and R will be infinity on account of this. So now, students, uh, question number six. Look at series AC circuit has inductance L and resistance R. And angular frequency omega, the quality factor Q is. We have to find quality factor. We are given four option. Omega L by R square. Omega L by R. R upon omega L. And R by omega L whole square. We are given four option. Actually, students, the quality factor having the formula. First of all, F R upon F two minus F one. The ratio of resonance frequency with bandwidth. Okay, but he is asking in terms of L and R. So what are the solutions? Uh, one more formula is there of a, a quality factor. It is called Q factor. X by R. X is resistance. The total effective resistance due to inductor L and capacitance is called resistance. That is actually a, a types of resistance having unit ohm. So X resistance is of two types: inductive resistance X L and capacitive resistance X C. X L is of X L is called inductive resistance having the value omega L and X is called capacitive resistance having the value one by 
omega c so x here we can write as xl by r either x c by r so what is the whatever is asking we can write along the formula we know xl is omega l and that is r and x is 1 by omega c and that r so we can write okay if we are given l in terms of l we write omega l by r if we are given terms of capacitance we can write 1 by omega c r so check that which one is the correct option it we have to find in terms of omega r and l so let's friends omega l by r omega l by r it means what b is the correct option sometimes he can give the question in terms of c also so in that case 1 by omega c r will be the correct option okay students